I'm just out here with it with my school kids. We're we're so happy to be out here with these hundreds of thousands. Trump only got one thing wrong today. He said there were tens of thousands. There are hundreds of thousands of people here. I have to I believe I have to correct him on that. Hi, this is Matt Miller from the Daily Caller News Foundation. Today we're here in downtown Washington, D.C. at the March for Life event. We're asking marchers if they could deliver one message to President Trump, what would it be? Let's go see what they have to say. When it comes to abortion, democraticism, and you know this, you've seen what's happened, democrats have embraced the most radical and extreme positions taken and seen in this country for years and decades. And you could even say for centuries. What would you tell the president if you give him one message? I'd pass out if I, if I could see him, dude. Oh my gosh. And we're asking people, if you could deliver one message to President Trump, what would it be? Please do not compromise for the sake of politics the stand that you have on defending life. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I think we're really on a great path, um, you know, to uh, hopefully ending abortion. Um, you know, he's doing really great things. So I think we're on the path to uh, becoming the pro-life generation that ends it. So keep doing what you're doing, Mr. President. We love you. Keep defending the unborn and keep uh, doing everything good for America. If you could deliver one message to President Trump, what would it be? I would say uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, uh, keep supporting life. Uh, don't worry about the impeachment. It's a witch hunt. I like what he's doing that he attended this march and uh, he has my vote. So can I ask you real quick, why are you, why are you pro-life? I'm pro-life because, you know, like, I always have a joke, I always say, you know, I'm pro-choice. You make the choice in the bedroom, not the clinic. Keep appointing pro-life judges. Yes, are you a fan of our current president? Uh, yes, I, I, I am. I, I, I love his policies. You know, I don't, I don't get into politics because I'm a priest, but I love people who love the unborn. So what, what would you tell him? If you could tell him one thing, give him one message, what would it be? Uh, just keep on nominating pro-life judges. It's, it's amazing what he's done. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Thank you, Mr. President, for shouting the first step back into law as well. Thank you for, re for reversing what Biden and Clinton did and uh, um, releasing so many um, uh, men and women from prison who was given unfair lengthy prison sentences because of the so-called war on drugs. Thank you, President Trump, um, for, um, for giving money to the, H to the HBCUs as well. Thank you also for proving the media, uh, for proving the media wrong that you're not racist. Thank you for being yes. for the people and for everybody, no matter uh, race, color, no matter what, what kind of background you're from. Thank you so much, Mr. President. I love you. Abortion is violently destroying the life of another human being. So we are taking it personal and out here to be that voice and give them their rights. And we pray that God will end abortion in America as soon as possible. And we thank God for President Trump. He's doing a great thing for America, I'm telling you. I, there's not a bad thing I could say about him. I love, I love Donald Trump, I do. I mean, I've spent $60 in flags today, for gosh sakes. So if you, had one, if you could give one message to President Trump, what would it be? Keep doing it. Keep doing it? Keep doing it. Keep, doing it. Keep working to pass laws that will protect lives. The same, same. Protect lives. I would say just keep the babies alive. Do away with that awful law that they got in there, the Roe v. Wade. Change it, change it. It's a party of joy. It's a day of celebrating. Uh, yeah, we're here to protest Roe v. Wade, but we're also to celebrate the gift of life and to celebrate the joy that comes when we support life. So. And if you could give the president just one message, what would it be? That all life is sacred. Keep doing what you're doing. Pro-life all the way. Okay, so I would... None of this matters. You should all feel ashamed. You are all brainwashed. You're all brainwashed. Ah! Oh yeah! Ooh. Ah!